What up everyone, Donald back again with another FFmpeg video and today I gotta show you, I'm gonna show you some secret sauce and I have a secret to tell you all which is if you count this video that I'm posting right now the last three videos that I have uploaded have had zero hand editing done to them and that's because up to this point I have been accumulating some of these small things I was doing in um, editing videos and I have assembled a, uh, I guess you could say, a comprehensive script that when I run my main video through it with a few other options, it does all the editing for me. So don't need to actually hand edit anything at this point. Uh, and I'm going to show you what that script is. Before we get started, if you're new to the channel, hit subscribe, and you will get some more FFmpeg tricks and probably some programming stuff in the future. And with that, let me get over to my terminal. So. This is the finalized video script that I have. Um, it probably looks a little overwhelming, maybe slightly less overwhelming if you saw the last video where I was talking about how, or what was the last, whenever I talked about the animation overlay video, um, because um, you will actually notice that a good chunk of this filter graph down here at the bottom is familiar because it's what that is. Um, but I will break down what this entire thing is doing and why I have this this way. So if we go up top, I'm, I'm passing in a total of, what's that, seven? Seven different things here. And um, I'm passing them all in for a reason. So in is whatever the, I, I guess you would say, like the main video is. So like in my case, that would probably be either some video I've done some other editing off of the side on and I'm ready to kind of do like a final edit to it. Or as is the case mostly, it's just like the recording I just did like 10 minutes ago. Um, out is the uh, where I want this new processed video to go to. Uh, over is the file path to the um, sub animation overlay I've been using now. Um, I'm passing this in because you know, at some point I might actually change what I'm using to do that. And rather than just having to go in and change the script, I'll just passing a different file for it. Uh, over start is the uh, timestamp in seconds of when I actually want the uh, sub animation to start playing uh, because that is needed to do the offsets to both the video frames and the delay on the audio stream. Uh, Outro is the file is the path to a, another video file that I append to the end, which if you've seen my other videos and have actually lost all the way to the end, thank you by the way if you have. It's that little like black section where the screen's black and it just kind of plays like this little like Animal Crossing remix song. And usually I just use it to put end cards and stuff up. That's what this is. Again, this will surely change at some point. So then rather than having to go in and change the whole script, I'll just pass in a different file path. Uh, this duration is using a, another FFmpeg-ish utility called FFprobe eh, probe, to get the um, duration in seconds of the video that I passed in uh, because I use it to calculate something later. Uh, fade out duration, so I applied a if you noticed from the last video, I applied both a fade in and a fade out effect at the start and end of the video. And this is just me saying, well, I want the fade out to the last, uh, you know, X seconds. Usually it's one second. Uh, fade in, same thing, but for the fade in effect at the start, uh, fade out start. So this is when do I actually want the fade out effect to start? And it is calculated by... Um, the full duration in seconds of the video minus the duration of the fade out effect. So meaning, let's say that I had a video that was 5,000 seconds long. And I said, well, I want the fade out to last two seconds. Well, the fade out start is going to start, was it fourth, on the 4,998th second. And milliseconds is I'm basically this is just basically like a convenience I'm using to um convert the uh what is it the uh, offset of the sub animation start in seconds to milliseconds because for for whatever reason so when I'm doing the offset of the 
sub animation timestamps for the frames, that takes seconds. Now the uh, thing I used to off to add a delay to the audio, it takes milliseconds. So this is just a basically a convenience way for me to to automatically have it be in milliseconds. So we get down to the the this big boy down here. Um, as you will see, I'm passing in the my main file uh, and my outro because it gets used in the concatenation filter down towards the end, and we start the filter graph. So the first four lines here is pretty much all for preparing the uh, main video, and what it's doing is it's making sure that uh, both the main video and the um, sub animation video are kind of starting at the same same zero timestamp. So when I do the offset, it offsets from zero. Um, this is loading in the sub animation movie, and this little da this S option is saying what streams do I want to use from this video. And these are two keywords, uh, DV and DAI means D, uh, default video stream and default audio stream. And I'm, I'm just labeling the two streams uh, as a over V and over A. Um, this, is, this is what's offsetting the uh, timestamps of the sub animation video so that they start playing when I actually want them to start playing. Um, and I save it as uh, V1. Then I pass both the main video stream and the main and the sub animation video stream to this overlay filter. Uh, this is basically ch changing the positioning of the sub animation overlay. Uh, this is the saying to, to let the video keep playing when the overlay is done. Now this is the part that's probably different if you have seen the sub animation video uh, because this is all kind of about uh, preparing the main video stream, I went ahead and add in the fade effects here. So what we're doing here is we're adding in the fade effect, fade in effect, yeah. And um, it's starting at the, the first second, and the duration of it is whatever I passed in. I, I usually like a second. And then I'm applying the fade out effect here. Uh, it Its starting time is whatever I specified in the input parameters. So again, um, Oh, that's right. This is what's calculated. Excuse me. This is what's calculated based on the duration I passed in. So that would be like the 4,998th second example that I gave. And this is the duration of the fade out. And I am labeling that as main V because this is my main video stream. Um, now we're using this um, uh, A delay filter to add the delay to the sub animation. Uh, stream so that it plays in sync with the delayed timestamps and I just lower the volume down because the animation movie video that I use is kind of loud so I, I just it does turn it down a little bit and a mix is taking the uh, the two main channels that my record my videos with and the sub animation channel and just mixing everything together um, I'm offsetting the weights so that the uh, audio switch when the sub animation audio is done does isn't so so noticeable. It's still noticeable. I gotta change some of this, and uh, I'm labeling it as main A. And then we finally get down to I take the the the, the main processed video and the main processed audio, and then the video and the audio from the outro. And I'm concatenating them together to make one video file. And this is just saying there's two inputs. Each input has one video stream and one audio stream. And I'm saving them out to this out V and out A label. And then finally, we map those two fully processed video and audio streams to this file. So that's a lot going on there. So, what, so what, to recap, what is the script doing? This is um, adding the uh, adding the sub animation overlay to my main video at the specific point in the video I specify. It's adding in the fade in effect. It's adding the fade out effect at the end, um, and it's concatenating the outro to the end of the video. All of this being done with one script. I am not doing any hand editing to this whatsoever.
Um, now, there are some extra things I would like to add on to this later. The main thing being color correction. I know that's probably one of the biggest uh, weaknesses of any of these videos I have is I don't really color correct them. I've been told how to do it. I would just prefer to figure out how to automate it. Um, I have one main roadblock for that, which is the lighting in my office is not consistent. Uh, I don't have anything to really control the lighting, like, I don't know, like blackout curtains or anything. And I can't because this is where we keep our cats. And if I put curtains in here, they would destroy them. So I'll have to figure that part out later. The idea is if I had consistent lighting, then I could just record a video, take like a screenshot, um, then just kind of do some testing with color correction because you can do color correction with uh, FMPEG as well. And once I got good values, then I could just add it to this 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 big boy filter graph here, just do the whole shmeal all in one go. And uh, to show you what I mean by what this would look like, so I think I have this is the um this is a time lapse video that I posted yesterday, and uh, you'll see there's a base and there's a final. So the base is the actual raw recording. And uh, we're gonna just, just kind of look at this and skip through it real quick. So uh, I have the audio muted, so you don't have to hear any audio. Uh, right around, I think it was around this mark is where I have a the sub animation put in. And you'll notice that there's no fade in. Uh, if we could kind of skip through, we get towards the end. So at this point, when I process it, there's gonna be a fade out effect right around here. And then it's going to go into the um, the outro. Now, what does this video look like after I ran that finalized video script on it? Well, it looks like the video you may have seen yesterday about me doing time lapses. There's the fade in effect. Um, I believe it's about 26 seconds in. It'll do the sub animation. Let's see. Yeah. Okay. See, there's sub animation. Um, then you get to hear me drone on for a while. Uh, let's see, we're going to skip through. Where's the end of this? So, fade out effects coming here in a second. Uh, right about now. Yep. And then it's it's playing the outro. Let me uh, can you unmute? Uh, yeah, there you go. So it's playing the like 15 second outro. So there you go. That is my dirty little secret at this point, which is this is the script that I've been doing to hand edit to to automatically edit all my videos without me having to actually do it. Pretty fucking neat, huh? Uh, if you if you really like to see if you really like to see me keep pushing the bounds of what I can do with this video editing video editing automation stuff, uh, all you gotta do all you gotta do is keep is, is support the channel. Um, drop me a like, subscribe, comment down below. Uh, if you want to follow me on any social media, I got links down there at the bottom for Discord and Twitter. Um, if you would like to support the channel, if any of these things I've done really helped you out and you want to help me in any way, shape, or form, I have some links down below. You can do that as well. And with that, I'll uh, y'all come on back now, and I'll see you next time.